Hi there, my name is Joshua Brown from the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass a Northern Ireland civil service job interview. So if you have a job interview coming up for any role whatsoever in the civil service, please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to succeed. To achieve that goal, here's what we're going to cover. First of all, I'm gonna give you a list of Northern Ireland civil service interview questions to prepare for. Next, I'll give you sample answers to those questions to help you to succeed. I will also give you essential tips for passing your civil service interview. And finally, I'll give you further downloadable resources to help you. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview and I can only do that if you're subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me that you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's dive straight in. Now, before we look at the interview questions and answers, I want to share the secret to your success for your interview, and that is the Northern Ireland values or the core competencies for the role. These values are what you're gonna be assessed on during your interview. So it's really important that you familiarize yourself with these and you look at ways that you could implement these and demonstrate these throughout the interview and within your answers during the interview. So these values are split into three clusters and each cluster contains a number of competencies or values as the Northern Ireland Civil Service likes to refer to them. But please note the number of competencies that you will be assessed against will be dependent on the role that you're applying for. So that will be on the job advert. You need to make sure you check that and see which competencies you are actually being assessed against. So the first strategic cluster is setting direction. And this includes seeing the bigger picture, changing and improving and making effective decisions. The next one is called the people cluster and this is all about engaging people. So this includes leading and communicating, collaborating and partnering and building capability for all. So this is teamwork essentially. And finally, it's the performance cluster which is all about delivering results. So this includes delivering value for money, managing a quality service, delivering at pace, achieving outcomes through delivery partners. So now let's take a look at some example questions and answers and have a look at how these values are included within the answers that I give you. So the first one we're going to look at is tell me about yourself. This first Northern Ireland civil service interview question is your opportunity to talk about the skills and qualities that you have, your passion for working in the public sector and how you're going to add value to the civil service within the role. Here's a great answer to help you. And whilst I read this answer, can you spot the skills and qualities that I mention that match the Northern Ireland Civil Service's values? Let me know in the comments below how many you get. Here we go. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this civil service position today. Over the years, I've built extensive transferable skills and qualities that I believe will enable me to excel within the civil service. I'm an excellent organiser and somebody who will always provide exceptional customer service. I am a creative problem solver and I will always aim to make effective decisions that are in the best interests of my employer. For example, in my previous role, my manager often praised me for seeking ways to help the company save money by streamlining processes and by ensuring I delivered value for money in all of my daily tasks. I understand working for the civil service requires the ability to work alone and as part of a team, to communicate with clarity and to see the bigger picture, and to approach tasks and projects with enthusiasm and with a commitment to public service. If you employ me in this position, I will be a supportive team member and I will act as a positive role model for the civil service whilst embracing change with an open and positive attitude. Now that is a really strong opening answer to that interview question, tell me about yourself. Or they may phrase it as, introduce yourself. I showed them straight away how my skills and my qualities match that of the job description. So how many of the Northern Ireland civil service values did you spot within my answer? Let's take a look. So the first one was exceptional customer service, which comes under that cluster of delivering results. The next one was make effective decisions, I delivered value for money, communicate with clarity, see the bigger picture and embracing change. So you can see I got six of those core competencies or those values that the civil service are looking for when they're interviewing you. Now let's take a look at the next question, which is why do you want to work for the Northern Ireland civil service? 
When answering this interview question, be sure to demonstrate a passion for serving the public and explain how you always strive to collaborate with other departments to achieve the customer services objectives. Here's a great answer to help you. So why do you want to work for the Northern Ireland Civil Service? Here we go. I want to work for the civil service for several reasons. Firstly, I want to work for an organisation that is positive about the future, embraces change and that provides a supportive environment where people can reach their full potential. I am particularly attracted to the opportunities that the civil service offers, the friendly working environment and the fact that I will get to collaborate with lots of different people in various departments to achieve a common goal. Although the benefits and job security are appealing to me, the main attraction lies in the fact that I will get to serve the public and see the difference I'm making in people's lives in the work that I undertake. That's a really strong answer to that question, why do you want to work for the Northern Ireland Civil Service? Let's take a look at the next one, which is tell me about a time when you supported someone within a team to overcome a setback. This is one that is very likely to come up within your interview. So this question assesses the Irish Civil Service's people cluster of engaging people. You must demonstrate that you're a team player and back it up with an example in your answer. So let's take a look at a great answer that's going to help you to prepare. Tell me about a time when you supported someone within a team to overcome a setback. Here we go. In a previous team, a work colleague of mine was overlooked for a promotion. She was quite upset about it because someone with less experience than her had won the promotion. She was talking about leaving the organisation, which concerned me because I felt this was a gut reaction and that she wasn't looking at things with a clear head. I sat down and spoke to her to try and persuade her to change her mind and to see things from a different perspective. I used an empathetic style of communication initially to show that I understood how she was feeling. I then changed my style to a more positive tone by encouraging her to see how far she'd come within the organisation and that she should try and see the bigger picture in respect of what the organisation needed at this particular time. I went on to explain in a determined tone that her time would come for a promotion in the future and that the best way to approach this would be to knuckle down and to carry on performing to a high standard and to show her manager that she thoroughly deserved the next one. By using different styles of communication, I was able to convince my work colleague to look at the situation in a different light. That's a really good answer to this question because I clearly outline a setback that someone had to overcome within a team I was previously part of and how I supported them to overcome that setback. I gave my answer a clear structure by outlining the situation, the task or challenge that I needed to overcome in that situation, the action I took and the result of that action. I followed that star technique and that's really important to these tell me about time questions or these behavioral type questions. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner. It will take you to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download 24 Northern Ireland civil service interview questions and the high scoring answers to each question that will give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, the next question for you. How can you contribute to the mission of the Northern Ireland civil service? In your answer to this difficult civil service interview question, talk about how you will always embrace change positively, how you'll carry out your duties on time and to the right standard, and how you'll do all you can to support the economy whilst providing excellent service. Here's a great answer to help you. Here we go. I can contribute by embracing change positively, by acting as a positive role model when dealing with members of the public, and by making sure I uphold the core values and the principles expected of the people who work in the civil service. To support the mission of the civil service, I understand I must ensure all duties are carried out efficiently and effectively. This means making sure services are delivered on time and with a cost-effective manner. I must also ensure the work I carry out is completed to support the economy and to help communities and local businesses to thrive. That's a really strong answer to that interview question. How can you contribute to the mission of the Northern Ireland Civil Service? Next question. Have you ever had to embrace change at work? This question comes up often during civil service interviews. Give an answer that shows you will take positive steps to embrace change for the sake of the team. That's really important to embrace change. Remember, that's one of the values that they're looking for. So here's a great answer to help you. Have you ever had to embrace change at work? 
Yes, I have, and I do see change as a fundamental requirement if a business is to achieve its objectives. For example, a new manager took over the running of our department and she wanted to make numerous changes that some people in the team felt were unnecessary. However, because we had functioned a set way for a long period of time, I felt these changes were a good thing. I listened to my manager's proposed changes and I offered to help implement them. She gave me the task of creating new team guidelines that would define the way we would work moving forward. During the transition of change, I actively encouraged other team members to try and embrace the changes positively, and I explained how it would be a positive thing for us all to at least try the new methods of working. Six months after the changes were brought in, the team was performing better than ever, and the vast majority of the team felt we were in a much stronger position than previously. So now that you know some of the questions to expect in your interview and the answers that you can give, if you now want to learn how to answer all of the tough civil service interview questions that are going to come up in your interview, please make sure that you click the button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download these slides and a PDF guide that contains 24 Northern Ireland civil service interview questions and high scoring answers to each question. You can literally have the download and the slides at your fingertips within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you to prepare effectively for your interview and also, more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible to pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you're subscribed. Please also hit that like button as this encourages me to make more videos like these. Let me know if you have an interview coming up yourself within the civil service or if you have any questions, please put those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And finally, if you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best of your interview. Have a great day.